that on another video. But let's just say I went through a really, really hard, hard, stressful time um, where she ended up in hospital. And I had to, you know, walk my daughter to school every day, do all the housework, go and visit my wife in hospital, come back, pick up my daughter, cook, dinner for them, you know. Um, and I ended up losing so much weight because I couldn't get on a bus at the time. I was, you know, where I was agoraphobic and social phobic. You know, I had to sort of force myself to go out. And so I couldn't get a bus. I wouldn't get on a bus. Um, but so I would walk. Um, so I ended up losing loads of weight and it made me like, you know, really down and everything. But eventually my wife came out of the hospital and everything was good again. Um, but then it just hit me all of a sudden like a bolt out of the blue. Um, and I just felt absolutely useless and everyone was above me everyone was better than me I was useless um, because I, I'd stopped you know I'd, I'd finished my job and I was trying to get help for my agoraphobia um, so I saw someone about that, a doctor who wasn't very good, wasn't really helping me at all, um, that didn't work, I then saw someone else, another doctor, saw him for, it was about 16 sessions I think I had with him, yes I saw him for about 4 months I think it was, something like that, and again didn't help me at all and in fact by this time it was getting really awful I was literally drowning um you you know unless you've actually experienced you know proper clinical depression you can't you don't know what it's like um because that's what I thought I had when I was eating, but it was nothing compared to this. This was really awful because, you know, I remember saying to my wife when she was depressed, I said, why are you depressed? You know, we've got each other, we've got the kids, we've got a house, you know. We haven't got any sort of financial problems, everything is fine. Nothing matters, guys. What, well, you know, someone could say is a billion pounds in your bank account is a mansion to live in with a swimming pool. None of it matters. It doesn't matter. You don't care. All you want to do is die. Literally. So, I was just in this black hole. It was so horrible, so dark. And I felt, you know, I'm not as good as anyone else. Everyone else is better than me. Everyone else is above me. They're stronger than me. I don't fit in this place. I shouldn't be here. Um, and it was awful because I'd be sitting down watching a film with my wife with absolutely no interest in it at all. Then my kids would come in. Oh, hi, Dad. And they'd all come and sit on the bed. And they'd all be talking to me about stuff. Going, oh, Dad, oh, well, we did this today. We did that today. Oh, it was really good. We done this. It was, like, really, really, really good. It was so cool. Oh, it was really good. And that's all I could hear. And all I was saying 
I went and saw this guy one session now bear in mind I had 16 with this other doctor and nothing happened, nothing helped I had one session with this guy and he gave me back all my confidence and I felt so much better and I eventually you know after I, all of a sudden I could do things that I couldn't do before like going sitting in a coffee shop I could never do that I could never go in a coffee shop um, I could never go and sit in a pub and have a meal or a restaurant or anything I could not do it I couldn't go on buses without being with someone all of a sudden now, I could get on a bus, even a crowded bus, I could go into a, a restaurant or a um, coffee shop or whatever and I could even go up to the counter and order the things that I wanted and it was such an amazing feeling and such a weight lifted finally be normal again which I wasn't and it just felt so good and it does now so I mean I can do I'll do this video now and edit it um, in all honesty I have had a really stressful stressful few weeks guys I haven't been 100% because that's the problem is you can not sort of not have a relapse as such but you can still feel a little bit unwell when there's so much sort of going on in your life which is what's been going on in mine but I can pull through it now I can get through it I can now say right okay let's take one thing at a time which I've been doing sort that out sort that out sort that out and then comes back because I can then focus on things I enjoy doing um, so that's the thing it's you know it's always there but you can learn with help with therapy and with medication you can feel better I promise you guys so if there's anyone out there really suffering and in a bad bad way please get a referral to someone and if that don't work keep trying and trying until you see the right people that is what helped me is seeing the right people that help that know what they're doing it's like anything you know you, you can have a teacher teacher I had a maths teacher and whenever they're showing me how to do it it just seemed so complicated but then I had another maths teacher that showed me in a way that made it so much easier to understand and it's the same thing with therapy if you see that right person this guy got in here that made me think you know and I got rid of that sort of feeling of being inferior to everyone else and not being good enough and you know then all of a sudden you know I can go into a place now I mean in the coffee shop we used to go to I got to know them all in there they all became really close friends because you can go in and have a chat and talk to them all same with where we are now we're getting to know the people in this coffee shop now because we go in there regularly and we have a good like chat and a laugh and everything and it's just so good to be able to do that which is something I could never do before and all that sort of pulling away only projects people projects you know that you don't want no one near you and you don't want to know people and you don't you know want to join in and that's really horrible because people up on that you know that's when I sort of you know ignore you a lot more Whereas you go up with someone you have a good chat with them nine times out of ten they'll chat back 
time with you, get to know them well. So yeah, I mean it's awful, it's a really awful thing, I was in a really, really dark place. But I got through it guys and that's the important thing and I had it for a long time, trust me. This weren't a few months or even a few years, I had it for decades. Never thought I'd be cured of it, never thought I'd ever get over it, but I did. Um, and it isn't just, you can't do it by yourself, I couldn't anyway. You got to get help, you know. Um, that's the important message here guys, you've got to get help. And if you find that help, you know, doesn't help find someone else, keep on and on and on, be it the medication, be it the therapy, whatever it is, keep doing it until you find the right medication, the right therapist, and I guarantee it, you will get better, like I said, it's always there with me, always there. If things start really getting on top of me, I do go down a bit, but I can still control it. I'm in control now, which I never used to be. And I can say, wait a second, take a step back, sort these things out one thing at a time. You know, control the anxiety, control the depression. You know, don't let that come back and start kicking in. And then you can move on. Before you know it, you've cleared your path again and you can carry on. Yeah, so that's why I thought I'd make this video. It's for anyone. And I do get, that's another great thing, is I do get a lot of people that find it difficult to sleep. Or, um, you know, are depressed. And they say that my video's just listening to me, you know, yakking on, helps to calm them down, helps to help them relax, and that's brilliant, it makes what I do so much more special to me, and I know those people are there watching now, but that's my advice guys, is get help, you must get help, don't let it take you over because it gets worse worse and worse and it's in the end it starts eating you away and it's horrible so that's my advice and I hope that's what you do anyone that's got depression you're not alone there are lots and lots and lots of people that have it trust me but you can I won't say cure it but you can control it right help and medication and don't be afraid to take medication best thing I ever did absolutely brilliant you know if you've got a headache take a painkiller headache goes away it's no different you know but if you've got a headache and you just continue pounding your head against the wall headache's never gonna go away so that's my advice guys, I hope you enjoyed this, I'm sorry if it was a little bit serious, um, but it is a serious subject, um, I will be back with some, you know, more light hearted entertainment hopefully, um, but in the meantime, have yourself.